1.4 Dinavirus, T. Phage. You have already learned that viruses having DNA as their genetic material are known as DNA viruses. A DNA virus can have single stranded DNA, SSDNA, or double stranded DNA, DSDNA, as genetic material. Viruses with single stranded DNA, SSDNA, genomes are very small. None of the known SSDNA viruses has a lipid envelope. Viruses with double stranded DNA genomes show variation in their genome size. It is interesting to note that virtually no known double stranded DNA viruses infect higher plants except the reverse transcriptase viruses. Most of the known bacteriophages, 95%, are tailed phages with double stranded DNA genomes. Large DNA viruses of bacteria, archaea, and eukaryotes appear to be evolutionarily linked. Although little sequence conservation can be identified between the T4 phage of bacteria, the halophage of archaea, the viruses of the family Phycodnaviridae which infect algae, and the herpes viruses of vertebrate eukaryotes, all show similarities in their DNA polymerase types, capsid structures, and capsid assembly, consistent with a common ancestor. T phage virus. Among all the criteria to classify bacteriophages, structural morphology and nucleic acid properties are considered important. The major morphological groups of bacteriophages include viruses with contractile tail, viruses with non contractile tails, tailless icosahedral phages, and filamentous phages. T phages, T1 through T7, where T stands for the type, are a specific class of large, complex bacteriophages with icosahedral heads, double-stranded DNA, with a characteristic contractile tail structure, figure 1.21. T phages have double-stranded DNA and so belong to class I of viruses, double-stranded DNA virus. The most commonly studied T phages are T4 and T7, both of whom infect E. coli. As all viruses, the bacteriophage uses the host cell to replicate and make more bacteriophages. When the bacterium is lysed, the newly made viruses are released to infect other E. coli and to repeat the cycle again. The T even phages, T2, T4, etc., are also referred to as lytic phages because they always lyse and kill the host bacterium cell. Figure 1.21, A, T4 bacteriophage, B, parts, C, LS of a virion. Structure, the bacteriophage, T even phage has a tadpole like structure with a icosahedral head connected to a helical tail through a short collar. The head is composed of about 2000 capsomers forming icosahedral symmetry. The icosahedral head encloses a tightly packed double stranded, DS, DNA, 50 nm long. The tail of the bacteriophage includes the tail sheath basal plate, and tail fibers, figure 1.21a, which are made of different proteins. The tail has an inner hollow tube called core, surrounded by a contractile sheath which consists of 24 annular rings, figure 1.21b. The distal end of the tube is connected to a hexagonal basal plate with spike or tail spin at each corner. Six long, flexible tail fibers arise from the basal plate. Figure 1.21c. The long tail fibers are used by the bacteriophage to attach itself to the bacterium so that the virus can insert its genetic material inside of the host cell to begin the replication process. 1.5 RNA virus, TMV. You have already learned that viruses having RNA as their genetic material are known as RNA viruses. The virus for its survival and replication requires a host cell. The genetic material of all the host cells is DNA. The host cell has the machinery to replicate DNA but does not have the ability to replicate RNA. However, the host cell has the necessary machinery to transcribe DNA to messenger RNA. So for RNA viruses to replicate must have a mechanism necessary to produce more genetic material i.e. RNA for new viruses. For certain RNA viruses, the RNA is replicated by a viral enzyme, replicase, which is contained in the virus. In some RNA viruses, the viral RNA genome codes for the enzyme, replicase. The enzyme replicase is synthesized in the host cell with help of the host cellular machinery. 
In other viruses a reverse transcriptase contained in the virus converts the viral RNA into DNA, which is then replicated by the host cell. Among the plant viruses, tobacco mosaic virus, TMV, has been studied most extensively. TMV is used in plant molecular biology especially for plant transformations, and therefore will be studied in detail. Tobacco mosaic virus, TMV. TMV is historically important as it was the first virus to be discovered by Dmitry Ivanovsky and the first virus to be crystallized by Wendell Stanley, see section 1.2. TMV infects tobacco and other plants like tomato, spinach, and pepper and causes considerable damage to plantations. Plant cell walls must be damaged for the virion to enter the cell and cause infection. The chloroplasts of TMV infected leaves become yellow, due to loss of chlorophyll as a result of viral infection. The disease is termed as tobacco mosaic disease because the infected leaves develop a characteristic mosaic pattern i.e. yellowish chlorotic infected lesions alternating with green regions. The mosaic disease is characterized by presence of mixed light green and yellow patches on leaves by making a mosaic pattern. Structure, TMV is a positive sense, plus, single-stranded, SS, RNA virus belonging to class 4 with helical symmetry, figure 1.22. It is long thin rod-shaped particle measuring about 300 nm in length and 15 to 17 nm in diameter. The tube is hollow and composed of protein capsomers arranged helically around the central core. The central core is 4 nm in diameter and runs through the entire length of the virus. A complete rod of TMV contains about 2,130 capsomers. Figure 1.22, Tobacco Mosaic Virus, TMV, showing protein subunits tagged on the RNA helix. There are about 16 capsomers in each helical turn. The subunit proteins of the capsid along with the RNA form a close spiral. There is no envelope external to the capsid. The positive sense, plus, SSRNA is helically coiled. Its genome is a single copy of positive strand RNA that contains 6,395 nucleotide bases and has a cap at 5 terminus. The RNA molecule folds into tRNA-like structure at its 3 end. TMV genome encodes for only four kinds of proteins, two are components of RNA polymerase and the other two are components of viral capsid. 1.6 Other virus-like things, subviral particles. These are virus-related agents, sometimes called atypical viruses, that are smallest known pathogens capable of causing diseases. Two type of such virus-like agents studied so far are viroids and prions. 1.6.1 Viroids. Viruses may be often referred to as the smallest infectious things. But there are some smaller contenders also. Some of the agents of plant disease lack even a viral coat and are merely small strings of plain, or naked, RNA. They are believed to be a more primitive version of ordinary viruses. These particles with a small, circular, single-stranded RNA that do not contain any protein or capsid are called viroids. The RNA molecule does not contain any protein coating gene. In spite of being just RNA molecule without any protective coverings, Viroids are not degraded by enzymes. The reason is that they have a very tight secondary structure as a result of extensive internal base pairing. Thus they look like rods, resembling double-stranded molecule with closed ends. Agricultural researchers have found that viroids cause plant diseases like potato spindle tuber, tomatoes, citrus exocortis, and cucumber pale fruit disease. Potato spindle tuber viroid, PSTV, infects both potato and tomato. There can be serious agricultural impact due to diseases caused by viroids. Recently a viroid has also been linked to hepatitis D. 1.6.2 Prions Prions, proteinaceous infectious particles, are infectious particles that have only proteins and do not have DNA or RNA. Prions are proteins that have the ability to transmit diseases, a finding that has defied scientific expectations. There is still much debate about how they work, 
but scientists think these rogue proteins direct the host to create abnormal proteins that can cause serious neurological disease in animals and humans. Scientists suggest that they spread when a prion comes into contact with the normal version of the protein and causes the normal protein to change shape and become a prion, too. Unlike viruses the prions are resistant to a wide range of chemical and physical treatment like heat, ultraviolet radiations, formaldehyde etc. Box 1.4, Prion Diseases Do you recall hearing about mad cow disease? This is an ailment that affects the animal's brains and is also called bovine spongiform encephalopathy, BSE, because it makes the brain appear like a sponge. Prion disease represents a group of conditions that affect the nervous system in humans and animals. In people, these conditions impair brain function, causing changes in memory, personality, and behavior, a decline in intellectual function, dementia, and abnormal movements, particularly difficulty with coordinating movements, ataxia. Creutzfeldt Jacob disease, classic CJD is a human prion disease. It is a neurodegenerative disorder with characteristic clinical and diagnostic features. This disease is rapidly progressive and always fatal. The disease leads to death usually within one year of onset of illness. 1.7 Economic Importance Viruses are extremely small-sized infectious agent that lead to massive economic losses. Though viruses are important as pathogens, they play a major beneficial role in medicine research and diagnostics. 1.7.1 Economic Losses Due to Viral Diseases Plant Diseases Crop losses as a result of disease caused by plant-infecting viruses come second only to fungal diseases. However plant viruses are much more difficult to control. The economically important food crops are severely affected by viral diseases resulting in economic losses because of decrease in grain production, poor quality seed, and extra expenditure for phytosanitation and disease control. As the plant cell wall is thick, penetration of viruses into plant cell is difficult. For the virus to enter the cell the plant cell wall has to be mechanically damaged and this is caused by either insects or animals. In the majority of the virus infecting crops, transmission of plant viruses is by insects like aphids, leafhoppers etc. The insects act as vectors by picking up viruses on their mouth parts and transmitting it to plants. Pesticides are used to control the vectors which also increase the production cost. There are basically two kinds of infections caused by plant viruses the mosaic disease and the curling and dwarfing. Few of the plant disease caused by plant viruses are tobacco mosaic virus, potato virus, and cauliflower mosaic virus, mosaic virus of cucumber and lettuce, yellow disease of potato, tomato bunchy top disease, cotton leaf curl viruses, LCV, necrotic diseases, and tumors. Animal diseases. The annual economic loss due to foot and mouth disease, FMD, a disease caused by viruses in India is huge. The foot and mouth disease caused by P. coronavirus is highly contagious and can spread rapidly in cloven-footed animals viz. cattle, buffaloes, goats, sheep, and pigs, and is endemic in India. Economic losses caused by the FMD are because of loss decrease in milk production, decrease in the body weight leading to reduced yield of meat and extra expenditure of vaccination. In addition to this, the milk and milk products, meat, hide and skin are not accepted by countries free from the disease causing reduction in export. Other economically important viral diseases are avian influenza or bird flu, influenza virus, rabies, rhabdoviruses, bovine viral diarrhea, pestivirus, Newcastle disease in poultry, paramyxivirus, etc. Human viral diseases. The distressing effects of viral diseases such as AIDS, influenza, dengue, polio, diarrhea, smallpox, and hepatitis are well known. There are some emerging viral infections which affect the health systems of countries and loss of wealth on health. Among these is the sudden emergence of the Ebola virus which causes intensive bleeding inside and outside the body. Another such disease is caused by coronavirus that causes severe acute respiratory syndrome, SARS. Vaccination remains the preferred strategy for controlling viral diseases. 
1.7.2 Economic Benefits of Viruses Vaccine Production Vaccines provide immunity against viral diseases. The conventional vaccines synthesized using live attenuated viruses, weakened in force or effect, or killed viruses are easy to produce and economic. Gene therapy, we all know that a gene is a region of DNA that encodes a functional RNA or protein product. A defective gene produces a defective slash non-functional protein product and causes disease. Gene therapy is the introduction of functional gene into human cells to correct defective genes by replacing them. Gene therapy is largely used in cancer treatment e.g., bone marrow transplant in blood cancer. Cancer therapy, some viruses that cause cancer are called oncoviruses. Viruses can be directly used to prevent cancer by being the source of anti-cancer vaccines, e.g., vaccines against hepatitis B virus, causes hepatic cancer, and human papillomavirus, cervical cancer, are commercially available. Bacteriophage therapy, you have already studied that bacteriophages are bacteria-eating viruses. Therefore bacteriophages can be used for destruction of bacterial pathogens. This therapy has been used to successfully treat staphylococcal and E. coli infections and appears to be very promising. Role of viruses in research, Viruses have been extensively used for research as they infect all three domains of life, bacteria, archaea, and eukaryota. Viruses have the unique ability to insert genetic content into host cells, therefore are commonly used as vector in recombinant DNA technology and research procedures. Bacteriophages are the routinely used viral vectors in genetic engineering. The lambda and M13 phage are the most commonly used E. coli phages. Virus-based diagnosis, viruses have a major role in diagnostic techniques like southern blotting, cloning, DNA and RNA sequencing of diseases etc. which are commonly employed in diagnosis. Viruses are used as vectors in these techniques. Viral biopesticides, they are much less significant than bacterial pesticides. Research and development on various viruses as potential biocontrol agents is still going on. Baculoviruses are the most important group of viruses used as biopesticides. Self-assessment questions 2. In the following statements choose alternate correct word given in parenthesis. I. The therapy in which viruses can be used for destruction of bacterial pathogens is, gene therapy slash bacteriophage therapy. Answer A. Bacteriophage therapy. 2. Rabies is caused by rhabdoviruses slash p coronavirus answer a rhabdovirus 3 tobacco mosaic virus tmv is a dna virus slash rna virus answer a rna virus 4 enzyme required by the virus so that it can be released from the host cell hemagglutinin slash neuraminidase answer a neuraminidase v positive plus since single-stranded RNA virus are classified under Class V Class 4, Baltimore classification. Answer A, Class 4. 6. A layer of protein present between nucleocapsid and envelope is called the matrix slash spike. Answer A, matrix. 1.8 Summary. In this unit you have learned that Asterisk viruses can be defined as small obligate, intracellular particles seen only by electron microscope that have to infect and take over host cell to replicate. Asterisk 2 scientists Dmitry Ivanovsky and Martina Spijernik played a crucial role to discover viruses. Asterisk Loeffler and Frosch were able to discover the first animal virus. Asterisk Frederick Twert and D. Harrell discovered bacteriophages, bacteria-eating viruses. Asterisk Wendell Stanley for the first time crystallized virus, TMV. Asterisk viruses cannot survive and multiply outside the host cell. Asterisk the viruses are made up of only two components A, protein, capsid, and SB, nucleic acid, viral genome. Asterisk the viral genome is protected against chemical and physical damage by the protein coat of the virus particle called capsid. Asterisk the capsid and the viral genome are together called the nucleocapsid. 
Asterisk the building blocks of capsid are protein subunits called capsomers. Asterisk on the viral capsid, special capsid proteins called spikes are present are binding sites of the virus so that it can attach to specific receptors on the host cells. Asterisk these capsomers are responsible for the three different symmetry groups of viruses, icosahedral, helical, and complex symmetry. Asterisk in some viruses with conventional icosahedral or helical structure, the nucleocapsid is surrounded by a flexible loose-fitting membrane made up of proteins and lipids which are acquired from the host cell during replication, known as the viral envelope and such viruses are called enveloped viruses. Viruses which do not have an envelope are called naked viruses or non-enveloped virus. Asterisk the viral nucleic acid or genome is made of either deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA, or ribonucleic acid, RNA. Asterisk viruses with DNA as their genetic material are called DNA viruses and viruses with RNA as genetic material are called RNA viruses. Asterisk the DNA and RNA viruses are further subgrouped into seven classes, Baltimore classification. Asterisk T phages, T1 through T7, T standing for type, are a specific class of large, complex bacteriophages with icosahedral heads, double-stranded DNA, with a characteristic head and tail structure. Asterisk tobacco mosaic virus has a helical symmetry with positive sense, plus, single-stranded, SS, RNA in the middle. Asterisk viruses are economically important as they cause losses from diseases and play a major beneficial role in medicine research and diagnostics. Glossary. Antiviral, a compound that inhibits the growth and reproduction of viruses. Antagonist, an agent that acts in physiological opposition. Capsid, the protein covering of a virus particle. Cancer, a disease in which abnormal cells divide uncontrollably and destroy body tissue. Capsomers, substructures of virus particles. Composed of aggregates of polypeptide chains that interact to form the basic structural units of the capsid. Cloven hoof, a cloven hoof, cleft hoof, divided hoof, or split hoof is a hoof split into two toes. This is found on members of the mammalian order Artiodactyla. Examples of mammals that possess this type of hoof are cattle, deer, antelopes, gazelles, goats, and sheep. DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, the chemical structure that contains the genetic information of an organism. The double helical structure is made of two strands consisting of deoxyribose and phosphate and is held together by bonds between purine and pyrimidine bases which project inward from two chains and form the genetic code. Gene a sequence of genetic material that provides the information to make a specific protein. Genome, the entire genetic information of an organism. Hexamer, any of the clusters of six protein subunits, capsomers, in icosahedral virus capsids. Envelope, a lipid casing that surrounds the capsid that covers a virus. A viral envelope assists the virus in infiltrating the cells of the host organism. Eukaryotes, organisms whose cells possess a membrane-bound structure called a nucleus that contains the genetic material, DNA. Foot and mouth disease, foot and mouth disease, FMD, is a highly contagious viral vesicular disease of cloven-hoofed animals. Matrix protein, a type of protein that connects the components of the viral envelope to the nucleus of the virus. Nucleocapsid the composition of a virus that includes the DNA, RNA, and the capsid protein cover. Negative sense RNA, negative sense RNA viral RNA with a base sequence complementary to that of messenger RNA, mRNA. The RNA must be converted to positive sense RNA by a viral enzyme called RNA polymerase before translation into protein can occur. Viruses that have a negative sense RNA genomes include influenza and Ebola. Neuraminidase, a protein found on the surface of influenza viruses that is needed for the virus to exit the host cell and infect more cells. The action of this protein is inhibited by the class of antiviral drugs that includes the drug Tamiflu registered trademark. In the system using for naming influenza subtypes, H1N1, for example, the N stands for neuraminidase. Peptide, short chain of linked amino acids. 
Amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. Phage therapy, phage therapy or viral phage therapy is the therapeutic use of bacteriophages to treat pathogenic bacterial infections. Polyhedron, a solid figure with many plane faces, typically more than six. Positive sense RNA, viral RNA that has the same base sequence as mRNA which allows it to function as a template for protein synthesis during viral replication. Protein, components of cells and viruses that play structural and functional roles in cells. RNA, ribonucleic acid, a chemical structure that is related to DNA, but has only one strand and a somewhat different chemical composition. RNA performs a variety of functions in the cell and can act as a messenger to carry the genetic code from the DNA to other parts of the cell. RNA can also serve as the genetic material of some viruses. Spike, surface projection of varying lengths spaced at regular intervals on the viral envelope, also called peplomers. Consist of viral glycoproteins. Tobacco mosaic virus, tobacco mosaic virus is a positive sense single-stranded RNA virus that infects a wide range of plants, especially tobacco and other members of the family Solanaceae. Virions, a virus particle, which invades the cells of a host organism, causing infection. Vaccine, a preparation of killed or weakened microorganisms that is administered to produce or increase immunity to a particular disease. Vesicles, vesicles are small, fluid-filled sacs that can appear on your skin. Virus, a microscopic particle that is made up of genetic material, either DNA or RNA, and protein that can replicate only inside living cells. Virus-like particle, a particle assembled from multiple copies of the capsid protein that, like a virus, can produce an immune response, but unlike a virus, is not infectious because it does not contain genetic material. Like share and subscribe. What you want to watch in next video please comment below. Keep learning keep growing.